Hello and welcome to another episode of Fish and Forage. Today, the wife, the dog, and I are out in the woods hunting for chanterelles. This is the first time that the puppy has been out in the forest and he's loving it so far. He is loving it. Look at this guy. <gasps> Look at this. You having a good time? You having a good time, puppy? Yeah. Yeah, he loves being in the woods, so that's good. He loves, he's running around, he's sniffing everything. He's very, very interested. He's not scared at all. So check this out. We were just basically walking into this spot. And before we even got in there, we are seeing these. Oh, hello. This a little guy. And then here's a, here's a very healthy guy. Look at this guy. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Finnegan, come here. Finn, come here. Are you excited for mushrooms? Look at this. Yeah. Don't eat it. But this is what we're going after. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to find these. These are what we want. We're gonna pick some more of these. We're gonna have some fun in the woods. We're gonna see how the puppy does and yeah, take you guys along with us. So stick with us and stay tuned and let's get some more mushrooms. Or literally, you can see the road behind me. We didn't even get into the woods. So we got this nice one again. We got this pretty nice one. Uh, yeah, he's not bad. The a little soggy. I still haven't found my freaking knife with a brush on it. I need to look for it better than I have been. And then, <laughs> I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. So backing up over here. Oh, and there's one I just set the camera down on pretty much. So I found this guy right behind the camera. Not bad, not bad. And then, oh yeah, here's some more. Well, this is what I was talking about. If you if you watched the video, I'll link it below, but there's, I have a video about how to find chanterelles and one of the things I mentioned is checking underneath brush. So if I found one mushroom, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna lift all these up and sure enough, hiding underneath there, it's another beautiful, beautiful specimen. And I think there was another one too. Yeah, there's a couple more. So I found two more right over there. Let's cut the, uh, cut the dirt off of them so it makes them easier to clean, kind of get them a little I don't have my brush, so I'm just kind of picking off some of the pine needles and whatnot. But boom, right there. So I found one or two. Just lifting up some ferns. I found three more. Three more nice ones. Let's see if I can't find any more. What's this guy? Yeah, that's one. This one kind of threw me off because it's really flat. But you can see, you can see it has those false gills. They're more like veins and they go down the stalk. There's no separation between the, the stalk and the cap. Textbook chanterelle, albeit a little bit flat. Cut that guy off, boop. Clean, put him in our bag. I do recommend a cloth or mesh bag because that, uh, oh, that allows the spores to fall out and help propagate next year's chanterelle mycelium. Boop, what's this guy? Oh, hello, chanterelle. And then we found another one. Chantrelle, Chantrelle, Finn. And I think that's over there too. Look at that. It's a puppy. Where are you going? <laughs> it's like, I want to go see everything. Oh, yeah. Chantrelle. Oh yeah, look at you, Finn. Look at you. Yeah, they're all over the place right here. You gotta be careful, pup. Oh, yeah. Careful, pup. So I picked up that one and I walked right over him. Yeah. More chantrelles. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera up and we're just gonna pick a bunch real quick here. Uh, if we get enough, I'm gonna take these home and I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, mushroom stroganoff. So guys, <laughs> just a small sample of what we're getting here. Yeah. <laughs> this looks familiar. A little thumbnail. <laughs> There's Finn again. Forest extraordinaire. Oh, you smell those chandrails, Finnegan? You find you hunting them? Good boy. Good boy. So whether you cut or pluck the 
end result should be, I, at least in my opinion, you should cut them before you put them in your bag because if you leave those dirty ends on them and you put them in your bag, the dirt gets grounded into all the mushrooms. It makes it a lot harder to clean and it kind of just makes everything a little, a little less clean. So that's one of my other tips is at the very least cut the, if you pluck them, at least cut the stem off afterwards before you put them in your bag. Pro tip, chanterelle pro tip. Okay, let's go. Finnegan, come here. Come here, puppy. <gasps> Good boy. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi. Yes, you're such a good boy. Look at you, good boy. Oh, my God. I see what you're saying. Yeah, oh, good. Jess. That's why I left him for you. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, look at these. Wow, they look dry, but they're, or they look wet, but they're dry. Yeah. Look how big these are. There's crazy ones. So you can, if you break the stem off, the the stem and the cap taste the same. Like they're, it's all the same material. So you can eat, you can eat the cap, you can eat the stem. It's all the same. So don't worry about breaking them into pieces. In fact, you're gonna probably cut them up when you cook them anyway. So don't worry about breaking them so much because they still taste good. Yeah, there's so many. Yes. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. All these came from one spot. That's a lot. That's a good find right there. That's going to be it for our mushroom find. Look at our look at our haul here. Of course our mascot in the back. But this is uh this is definitely this is definitely enough for a stroganoff. That's what we're thinking. But yeah, we're gonna head home. We're gonna get Finnegan in the car. Yeah, he's such a good dog. He's been an incredibly good dog for his first time out in the woods, so we're very happy with how he's been. And we love to Finnegan, yes, yes. As he's trying to eat something on the ground, of course. Stick with us, we're gonna run back to the kitchen and we'll see you there. Let's do a delicious chanterelle something. We are gonna end it, but we've been kind of scouting around just for next time and we saw a little bit of like what looked like a glint of orange on the side of the road. So we're gonna check it out. Let's go check it out together. It looks promising. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my god. Jess. Yeah. Oh. So this is what we saw from the road, right? We just saw like, oh, there's kind of a little orange there. <laughs> we just walked in on this. Look at this. So there's here, here, all over here, up there, all over here, down there, all in this like little hole in the canopy where just a bunch of chanterelles are, like it's a beam of light, like here are, here we are. Whew, okay, well, let's pick these, this is a good find. <laughs> let's pick these and then also we'll go back to the kitchen. Holy crap, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Jeez. Back home in the kitchen, we're gonna clean and chop our chanterelles and dry saute all the liquid out of them. saute in butter and a little bit of garlic. This is gonna make your chanterelles very savory and delicious and who doesn't love garlic? We dry saute and saute with the butter and garlic and at the same time to speed up the process. Once you have your chanterelle assembly line set up, chop and dice an onion and get ready to saute it as well. Next, chop your stew meat into the proper cubes or slices and begin to saute them with butter as well.
you're gonna want to cook them almost all the way through but they'll finish cooking later <laughs> yeah <laughs> good boy Deglaze your pan with a white wine of your choice. We don't want to forget that yummy goodness. In a large blender, add a boatload of chanterelles. A, about a cup of beef bouillon. This is beef broth. Some more of that delicious garlic. Can never have enough garlic. And then finally, a, another small pad of butter. A little bit. Blend until it's a smooth puree. Don't be afraid to add more beef bouillon if it's uh, having trouble blending. Next, add that goop to your sauteed onions in a large pan. <laughs> Mix well before adding your meat chunks that are mostly cooked. Add what is probably an unnecessarily large amount of mushrooms to that goop as well. We're really trying to push that chanterelle flavor. And a little more. Why not? That's good. Yeah. Mix all that together well and then start adding your cream. Do this a little bit at a time and stir between it to get it to the consistency you want. Put butter. Oh, Once you reach the creamy consistency that you want, go ahead and add some cream cheese for some cheesy goodness. How much? Nobody Two. knows. That's good to me. Depends <laughs> like, I want some of my eyeballs. Can I please eyeball some of that, please? With my mouth? Sour cream and a little bit of white wine is like right before we eat, which is coming up soon here. So, as Davish says, you want me to taste? You can see we're adding the um, Ooh. the sour cream. Ready for this, y'all? The sour cream is gonna give our stroganoff a nice tang. Oh, the sour cream and add. Finally, add some of that white wine to taste. Add a little bit and taste and continue until it's, it tastes add right more to you. It needs more. It's gonna thin it out a little bit too, which will be nice. It's very thick. Mm, you can taste it a little bit. That's all I want. Well, Barely a hairs. That's good. Mm, you need a tiny bit more? A little more. Yeah, a little more. I'd say. We getting drunk tonight on the stroganoff. We're gonna drink it. <laughs> and then a little bit of pepper, pepper, pepper. You gonna wang dangle it a little bit? Sue Chef Finnegan sleeping on the job.
very indulgent meal. <laughs> yeah, that beef is so chewy. Alrighty guys, we are finally done with our delicious chanterelle beef stroganoff. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my one of my favorite ways to eat wild mushrooms is stroganoff. I like stroganoff in general. I know a lot of people eat with egg noodles. Uh, I like it with rice or egg noodles. It's good either way. Uh, we actually just forgot to pick up the egg noodles, hence why we use rice. But uh, first bite, I'm excited. As you can see, we got some nice garnish on there, some nice chanterelles, and then the chanterelle based cream. Gotta get a bite, kind of with everything in it. Get some fresh chanterelles, get some beef, get some rice, get some green onions. Look at that. Bite number one. Wow. Wow. Like seriously. This the the beef is actually really tender. Like some of them are. We were worried, so the beef, we were supposed to marinate it or let it cook for over an hour. We didn't do that because we didn't read the directions far enough. But honestly, even though it's beef that's made for stew, it's really tender, like it's good. And yeah, no, this is really, so you get like this really buttery chanterelle, just a heavy chanterelle flavor in that sauce. Guys, <laughs> I wish you were here. I wish you could taste this. If you get chanterelles and you need a recipe, holy crap, this is fantastic. This is by far the best chanterelle dish that I've had, like hands down. This is ridiculous. So as you see, we didn't really follow a, a hard recipe with a bunch of measurements. A lot of our cooking is to taste, so we kind of wing it, especially depending on how big or how small it is. But if you follow along, taste every step of the way. Make sure that you like what you're cooking. You know, a lot of a lot of people think that cooking is all. Oh my god, dog! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think that cooking is all about following the recipe perfectly, not messing up any of the times, any of the measurements. But in truth, it's really about tasting it along the way, making small adjustments. Don't overdo it because you can easily add more of anything but you cannot take more away. Seriously, it's so good. Thank you all for joining. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna destroy this bowl. <laughs> Let me know what you, what you think in the comments below. Definitely, if you like this content, think about subscribing below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Uh, like that, give that thumbs up down below. It does help my videos and the algorithm, of course. But yeah, until next time, take care, keep on fishing, and keep on foraging. You want that dead cat? Really yeah, you want that dick cat? It's like I'll sit for it. Yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> you will. No, <laughs> I got it. Fagan, come here. You got it. Yeah. Hey.